government, members of the diplomatic corps, your excellencies. All head and please. Ladies and gentlemen, I invite the Commissioner General, Deto Shri Zulkifli bin Omar. The Commissioner General of Malaysia, ladies and gentlemen, to receive the symbols as the host of the 38th APCA Conference. Commander Francis Keane, the uh, Commissioner for Corrections and Serve in Fiji. The Excellency, the Commissioner General for Corrections in Malaysia. Heads of delegations, members of the various delegations, ladies and gentlemen. It is, uh, first of all, let me say to all of you, you must have heard this many times by now. Mbula Binaka, to all of you. It's probably, you still hear the Mbula before you leave our countries. I can, uh, I can, uh, uh, this afternoon, first of all, I'd like to say that I appreciate and uh, thank you for the invitation to be here at the end of this Asia-Pacific Conference of Correctional Administrators. Over these past few days, I know you will have enjoyed our Fijian hospitality. I know also, having looked at the program of the conference, that you have had a great opportunity to share, to learn, to reflect, and to understand the progress and the challenges that exist in the course of your responsibility as correctional administrators. This conference has been a platform for you to meet, to share ideas and expertise on correctional and rehabilitation rehabilitative matters and you have received this not only for reflection but also for benchmarking. I hope it will also have been an opportunity for you to benchmark, to see what others are doing and to be inspired to be able to rise to the levels that others have achieved in the various aspects of the business that you find yourself in. You have also covered a range of topical areas to help you progress your national administrations. I know that you will have learned a lot through all the various sessions over the past few days. I note in particular the topic of restorative justice that you have discussed this morning. That has always been something of interest to me and I know that it has a lot of merit in your field of endeavor. So I know that this has been a very worthwhile experience for every single one of you in this room. Congratulations are in order for all of you who have put the conference together. Thank you to your rapporteurs, Professor Neil and Mrs. Ms. Irene Morgan, who I am told have throughout the years diligently served APCA and made tremendous contribution in keeping APCA member countries well informed. Thank you also to all you, the APCA member countries that are here. Thank you for being here, for participating and supporting this event. A conference of this nature requires participation to be a success. And it is your active participation and your cooperation that makes it a success. The theme for this year's APCA is leadership in rehabilitation. A very, very powerful theme. Permit me to take a moment just to digress a bit here. 
You all know, all countries in the world, and all of us in this room, we all know that in the world today, our global climate is changing. This is a big challenge to humanity on this planet. Climate change is upon us. Sea levels are rising, and this is our greatest threat out here in the Pacific. Sea levels are rising. We are facing more severe hurricanes and cyclones every year. Category 5 and Category 4 cyclones are things we now expect every year. Seas are becoming more acidic and coral reefs are dying. And when coral reefs die in the Pacific, it means that life itself is under threat. All this is happening and is wreaking havoc in all of our countries, but especially so in the small island nations of the world, of which Fiji is an example. Here in the Pacific, islands and countries are going under the waves. That is the challenge that we are facing. This week in Bonn, Germany, we have been having the meeting of COP23, the Conference of the Parties, COP23, to discuss this issue. Fiji's Prime Minister, the Honorable Morenge Bainmarama, has taken leadership of this global event as president of COP23. That meeting is also focused on rehabilitation. Rehabilitation of the planet Earth. That is an enormous challenge, to rehabilitate the planet, to fix what we human beings have done to this planet, to reduce carbon emissions so that we can halt global warming and all that it does to life on this planet. I wish him all success for his efforts and the efforts of the Fiji team that is currently at Bonn in Germany. And I was just sitting here this afternoon and I was looking at the, the Ndrua that you have. That boat, I'm sure you know now, is called the Ndrua. It's a kind of boat that I brought our ancestors to these islands about 3,500 years ago. It is the same boat that is being used when we talk about climate change in Bonn, where the Prime Minister has told the world, our Prime Minister has told the world, that really, in reality, everybody in this world is, we are all on the same drawer, we are all on the same boat. And if we cannot arrest climate change, our drawer will sink. It will go into the middle of the ocean. Rehabilitation of human beings is your business. So in the bond, they talk about rehabilitation of the earth, but your business is rehabilitation of human beings. And I do not profess to know too much about rehabilitation of human beings. But I do know that it has moved on significantly from just being about punishing people for crimes or just for reclusion. Today, there is a stronger approach to help people become better people, to restore people to the status that they were before they became bad people. That is, much more that is a much more difficult thing to achieve. And it always needs the concerted contribution of many stakeholders working together with you, the correctional services, to achieve the common objective of efficient and effective rehabilitation. That is why I'm very thankful when I was meeting the commissioner outside before walking into the venue here that he told me that there are a lot more stakeholders for the correctional sector that are in this room here from Fiji. So that is something that I really appreciate because endeavors of this kind can never be done by one person alone or by one entity alone. It always requires collaboration and cooperation from a range of different stakeholders. That is also the same challenge that they face in COP23, to bring all stakeholders together, to do what they can do, to turn what they can do into what they want to do, and to get them to actually do it. That will also be your visible challenge, to get the necessary stakeholders on board, to get them to do what they need to do, and to get them to want to do those things. That requires leadership. In COP23, this week, they are talking about ambition. All the countries in the world have already said what they're going to do about climate change. In COP23, they're going to talk about raising those ambitions, raising the vision that they have, raising their sights to try to achieve greater results. When we talk about leadership and rehabilitation, 
or rehabilitating the earth to reduce carbon emissions and climate change, it always needs more ambition. We need to have highly audacious goals. We need to be able to aim for the sun that we need to then pursue with vigor. I hope that as you finish this conference, you will go back with more ambition. That you will set yourselves higher ambitions and targets to achieve in rehabilitating people that need to undergo that process. For a conference of this nature to be successful depends not only on how good you feel, but how you ex how it not only on how good you feel about your experience here these few days, but more importantly, what you do, what you do with your new learning when you go back to your old country, and what you do with the new network that you have created in your participation over these few days. So as we conclude APCA 2017, it is my sincere hope that what you have discussed, what you have talked about in the conference, will be realistically applied as you convene in the next conference. And you do so with new knowledge and ideas derived from what you have achieved in your meeting here in 19 Fiji. Lastly, on behalf of the Fijian government, I thank you all for the contributions you have made in the conference this year and also appreciation to your respective governments for their support. And I hope that you have enjoyed your stay here in Fiji and that you go back with greater ambitions. You go back with a greater vision of what you're able to achieve. And you also go back with a growing network that you'll be able to call upon in the future years as you carry out your responsibilities. May you remain in tune with the APCA song, Together in Unity, and I wish you Godspeed as you depart our shores. Farewell, and thank you very much.